In this demonstration, you'll learn techniques for decomposing this blade model in Design Modeler so that it can be more effectively hex meshed in the mechanical application. I'll decompose the model into six sweepable regions. These fillets are relatively large and may affect the solution, so I'm going to slice them in half. The fillets are planar here, so I'll select and split these three edges. I can activate display vertices to verify that the edges are split. Next, I'll select the new vertices to create a plane. And now I'll use that plane to slice the model. If I hide the blade, I see that the model is sliced, but now there are extra bodies here on the plate. That's because the slice plane extended through here and here. After a Boolean Unite operation, there are only two bodies instead of four. Next, I'll slice out the hub region. First, I'll create a slice by selecting the loop of edges where the hub connects to the plate. Because there are some tiny edges, it's easiest to select the loop by picking one edge on each side of the rectangular area and extending the selection using Extend to Limits. Now, I'll generate the slice. I've sliced the model into three bodies. Next, I'll create extrusions to slice out the intersection region between the blade, plate, and hub. First, I'll hide the hub. After slicing, some edges may get split into very small segments because of tolerance issues with the geometry. This is a common problem to look for. I could clean up the edges now, but I prefer to do it later using virtual topologies when I create the hex mesh. For now, I'll select the edges and use Extend to Limits to find the full loop of edges. I see that my earlier slicing has created more edges than the expected six. If I extrude these edges through the plate, I can slice out the key part of the intersection region, which will help later when I want to get an all-mapped hex mesh in this region. It's important because the intersection region shares interfaces with the blade, plate, and hub and these faces need to be map meshed to sweep the neighboring bodies. When slicing, I want to slice the one visible body only, and I want to slice it through the plate along the direction of the plate thickness. I now have the mapped intersection region separated out nicely. Next, I'm going to extrude the blade intersecting sections. To do so, I'll select the edges where the blade shares an interface with the plate, and then use the selected edges to slice the plate. That completes the decomposition. I now have six bodies, the blade, the hub, the plate, one mapped intersection region directly above the hub, and two other intersection regions below the blade tips. I should check to ensure that the bodies are connected properly. Color by connection color codes all the edges, which are all black because all of the bodies are in separate parts. Because I actually want a conformal mesh, I'll select all bodies and form a multi-body part. Then, to see the shared edges, I'll insert a shared topology and generate it. To better see the connections, I'll switch to a wireframe view. These yellow lines identify edges that are attached to four or more different faces and the pink lines identify edges that are attached to three different faces.
I also see some isolated vertices. I can clean those up when I create the hex mesh. This concludes part one of this video series. In part two, I'll use virtual topologies and other tools to hex mesh the blade model.